If you're watching this, there's a good chance you've just been invited to a Nifty project as a guest. So let me say welcome to Nifty. Nifty is more than just a project management tool. It's where collaboration actually occurs between you and the team that this Nifty account belongs to to make sure everything in your project, tasks, timelines, communications, and documentation can be found in one place. So I'm going to give you uh, a brief overview of our interface so you have a good sense of what you're looking at and how to use Nifty to interact with your team. And so I'm going to start by looking at our project you've been invited directly into a project. In this case, it's called New Website. This guest is actually part of two projects. We can see it's actually New Website and Software Product Development. Inside a project, by default, there are six modules. Some of the projects you're a part of might have fewer, and that's because the team has turned them off by selection. But by default, there's Home, Milestones, Tasks, Discussions, Docs, and Files. And so I'm gonna give you an quick rundown of all these different modules starting with home, uh, I'm sorry starting with milestones milestones are the big picture items that we need to do in this project so we can see in this project we have onboarding UX design UI development and launch way out here now in this case we're going to see that when the team completes these tasks that the progress on these milestones update in real time so this is a good sense for you to come in and know where you are in your project. You can come in and see, okay, we're a third of the way through our first milestone of onboarding here, and here are the tasks we have left. Really great place for you to kind of answer that own question of where do we stand in this project. So next, I'm going to move over to tasks, because we can see tasks is orange, and I have a little two orange balloon here. And that's because something needs my attention here at tasks, specifically the spec sheet. In this case, this team has given me my very own list of tasks that are just mine because I can actually come in and update and complete tasks, even create new tasks here in Nifty as a guest. So they've come in and said, here's a spec sheet that needs my review and approval in order to move forward. And I also see this orange docs thing here. So I'm going to actually check that out too because we have built-in collaboration here in Docs in Nifty, one of which is a Google Doc. So I'm gonna go in and see, okay, they have actually created a Google Doc for me to go in and review these specs, make sure everything looks okay with this project. Now you can see we're still inside Nifty, but I have access to this Google Doc. I'm sure this team will actually fill this out with some content for you to review, give some feedback, and if it looks good, approve. And if I wanna approve this, I can go to the task and complete it. And we'll see when I complete this task, that milestone it was tied to, that onboarding milestone, will further be propelled. Now we're two-thirds of the way through this milestone in our project. So you can start to see how the different modules in Nifty really work together to make sure that this team can work smoothly and deliver what you need on time and accurately based on your approval. We're also going to check out discussions. Discussions are where I can communicate with this team and make sure everyone's on the same page so I can say, Hey, is anyone available for a call today? And rather than have to send this as an email, I can send this as a chat to make sure everyone can see it instantly on this team I'm collaborating with. And they might come back and say something like, Hey, how's 2 p.m.? And at 2 p.m., we can actually have a Zoom call right here in Nifty. So you get to see how, again, everything comes in and wraps itself together in one place so I can communicate, find deadlines, and approve what this team needs me to approve to move this project forward. I can actually leave a little bit more pointed feedback on a task as well. So there's other methods of communication. Um, in this example, we could say something like, if I need to give some feedback right on launch, I might put that in a comment rather than just that discussion channel. Every team looks uh, works a little differently, so I would make sure you just communicate with them and make sure you're on the same page as far as how you want feedback to be presented from yourself to that team. Lastly, we have a couple more things to look at here, being my tasks and overview. This is especially relevant if you are part of multiple projects with this team, because overview is that milestone experience for all the projects that I have a part of with this team. So in this case, here's that software project, and here's the new website, and I can see those milestones yet again, all in one place. Really have a good sense of where all of our engagements are at the same time. And if between these two projects, I have a lot of tasks assigned to me, 
I can go to my tasks and find what all of those assignments are. In this case, I know when they will need my approval or feedback on items in order to keep these projects on pace. Now as a guest, you want to make sure you know what's going on in this project at all times. Though you might not be in this project at all times. So that's where you want to make sure you go to your profile and you define your notification settings. That way you can choose how Nifty is going to communicate to you and what Nifty is going to communicate to you. So you can see we have the option to go browser, mobile, or email. So you should also definitely download our mobile app to make sure you can get all these updates and a lot of the features on the go. Lastly, if you've been using Nifty with this team and you say, hey, this is something I might want to use internally, you can always create a brand new team that belongs to you right here. Welcome to Nifty.